It's probably God Drinker, dude. God Drinker is probably. I mean, Zeus goes the Dusk Blade, but we already talked about the Dusk Blade. Like the Dusk Blade is like a purely. Yeah, it's a comp. It's a composition thing. It's a pro play thing. Maybe if you're very lucky. Maybe if you are very lucky, you can do the um. If you're very lucky, maybe you can do the, like, if you're very lucky with a comp, if you get, like, a great comp with, like, high CC and good peeling, you can go Duskblade. But that doesn't happen in solo queue, because in solo queue, they're gonna pick, like, everyone is, is the main character. Everybody wants to be carry, right? So, Duskblade Aatrox, you cannot be the main character as Aatrox. You have to probably just go the Guadrinka. Perhaps we can do the... If it's a lot of range instead of Guadrinka, we can go Stridebreaker. But basically the same build, just with Stridebreaker. Why do you not build Sojin? I do build Sojin. I just couldn't bu buy it. Sojin has no, like... Like, I had to go Hullbreaker because Yon is Hullbreaker. Then I need m Magic Resist. Because they had magic damage. And why would I go Spear of Sojin, 4th item? It's a stupid idea. I'd rather just go extra armor with death stance or a GA, and I decided for a GA. Sojin that late into the game is probably not good. I wasn't allowed to buy anything last game. Like, like Sojin is kind of a stomping item, I think. Like, you're supposed to stomp people. Is that a Kali top or a Renekton top? I'm gonna I'm go for the Renekton. Renekton! This game we got kind of a frontline Vi, no frontline, no frontline, no frontline. If I go Duskblade this game, she is the only frontline. So I don't think I go Duskblade this game, so I'm gonna go Godrinker this game. I think that's the smartest decision to do. Like, I don't think it's a good idea if I go Duskblade here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Renekton. Why would Stridebreaker be good this game? They have one, two, three melees. They have three melees and one melee support that's kind of me medium ranged. This is a great god drinker game. Literally, it's a good god drinker game. It's very rare they have so many melee champions. I got double e-girl bot lane. If they die, the game is lost, but we will see. We will see. I have to fight aggressive this game. I think I have to be aggressive here. Yeah, the hard steel skins are released now. Why is it all caps, by the way? Hard steel! Like, Jesus. He skills E. It's so unique. I don't know why Renekton players do that. I don't get it. Okay. Solid. Ah, that was bad. He has no E though. I messed up my, my Q1, but it doesn't matter. His wave clear is so good. He pressed one Q in the wave, and now he's just completely pushing into me. But the wave is not that big. Like, it's not that, of a, not, not that big of a push. Man, fuck. Shit, I went for him. That did not crit. He tanks a bunch of minions, plus I'm level 5. I don't know why he's fighting me. Alright. Alright. 
I was so lucky that his stun didn't one shot me. I was so fucking lucky right there. Can I push this? I got my bone plating, you know. Never mind. The wave state was. I was too greedy for the wave state. I mean, it's my fault. I deserve that. Now I have to be careful because he has ulti advantage. I mean, he doesn't have TP. I can play this slow. Like, one minute I can last hit. I can last hit for one minute. Even if I crit, I don't kill him here because of his ultimate. Regardless, I'm doing good. He has no f he has no TP. I mean, No flash, kill him. Nice. For fuck's sake. If he Qs, I think I kill him. Yeah. Is Aatrox still OP in this meta? In the meta? No. On top lane? Yeah. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's like... Fuck. Aatrox still hangs with all top laners. The problem is that... One second. The problem is that once you leave top lane, if your team is bad, it's super hard to play the game. Back in the day, if you play good on top lane and your team is bad, you can still fucking win. But now it's, it's difficult, you know? On top lane, he's amazing. On top lane, it's amazing. I mean, look at this, right? But once I leave my lane and start, like, playing around comps, it's difficult. I mean, he's tilted. I don't know what he's doing. If he ults, do I still kill him? Probably not. Yeah, I'm gonna play safe. Uh, I'm gonna I'm a farm for one minute, I think, or something, and TP back to the lane. Or I just push this and recall anyways. Yeah. Play it safe. Don't overstay. Can I please take this turret? Or am I gonna get fucked for it? That's why you go the fucking God Drinker. Because that shit heals you, boy. I mean, he just runs, but that's why you go God Drinker, because the damage is okay. It's enough to kill the Renekton, which is behind. And then I just survive the fucking thing, you know? That's why you go God Drinker. Like, that's literally the only reason why. Like, it's enough damage to kill the Renekton who I put behind, you know what I mean? But the sustain is huge, so I can just heal all of it until my teammates come. Like, for a, like as a, as a team item, it's, it's probably the best.
Oh, for fuck's sake. I have old. Ah, oh, scheiße. Oh, he got the shutdown. Okay, thank God. I overextended. My bad. I'm sorry about that. Um, the fuck do I buy now? Uh, uh, death stance, I guess. I don't buy anti-tank items. No, that's stupid. Cleva is stupid. Zerilda is okay, but I prefer going armor. They have a bunch of 80 damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Warhammer. Sojourn is fine, but for what? I don't like... Sure, HP and uh, AD, but like... This gives me like no HP. I already have 3k HP. I don't need more. I just need to make... Like 3k HP is enough. I just need to make this 3000 HP tanky. And I can buy Diff Stance or I can buy GA. I think that makes the most sense. And I think GA is a bit early now in the game. I could go Spirit, yeah, but that's not... I need... Okay, I'm gonna go Spirit 4th item. I'm gonna go Diff Stance into Spirit. I think that's the play. I think that's the move. Damn, I missed my Q3. Alright. 450, 400. These two items almost give me 1k HP, dude. Like, that's a lot. 63 AD, that's okay. This is the best build, dude. It is. Like, it just is. And it's making me sad, you know? I don't want this to be the best build. Did he fo Harry Potter? Where is he? What? Oh, hi. Interesting damage. He... Yeah, that was a lot of damage coming from him. I mean, I still had my Starax, but still, that was quite impressive. Ah, it doesn't boost me. Sometimes these dashes over the walls, they give you like a boost. Like they speed you up. Ah! Uh oh. Yikes! That was a lot of healing. And the Akali only almost killed me because I have no magic resist. So if I had spirits here, I would be like unkillable. Alright, we win. I played good this game. Renekton, good matchup. The God Drinker 2v1. Like, this was a very optimal game. I like that. That was good.